With more people staying in their homes, there has been more opportunity to spend time with loved ones. I know personally, I have hung out with my family, my grandma. Uh, we've spent a lot of time together just to cope with that depression of not being able to see everyone that I'm used to seeing, such as my classmates, my friends in my classes, um, my friends from Florida. We've definitely Zoomed more and FaceTimed more this year just to make sure everyone's doing okay. According to a study done by researchers at the University of Georgia, COVID-19 has caused many people to turn to social support and personal relationships as a way to cope during this crisis. I think especially because of social media, it's made it easier to connect with people that you haven't talked to in a very long time. Whether it be kids from like elementary school or other family members, it's just made it a lot easier, which all in all has made it easier to cope with things like anxiety and depression when you can't communicate in person. Out of thousands of people interviewed, over 25% said they have experienced heightened stress and social isolation due to the pandemic. However, they mentioned that they have leaned heavily on others to cope with their struggle and picked up healthy habits along the way. Speaking with Teresa Belvins from Suffolk University Counseling Center, she discusses how important it is, especially for students, to practice healthy habits in order to cope during this time. Work with students and in the like resilience workshop that we do, finding ways to like make meaning out of the hardness and like find the things that maybe have been um, like colloquial would be silver linings. It is really important and can be an important way to cope. Experts also say that a good amount of sleep, 30 minutes of exercising each day, meditation and mindfulness practices such as reading a book or walking with others can be a great way in maintaining good mental health. Another positive news, the United States is currently working on a COVID-19 vaccine and hopes to release it sometime in 2021. I'm Mia Minucci, reporting with Lauren Camo at Suffolk University.